Now recently, I did a video where I divided a circle into three, six, 12, and 24 different segments. And that video was very popular. And one of the things that I asked for, if you wanted to see more, let me know in the comments. Well, overwhelmingly, the comments were very positive and they wanted to see how you divided a circle into five segments and seven segments. Well, today I'm going to do that. We're going to take and divide a circle into five, and I'm also going to take and divide a circle into seven equal segments. Now, this is actually quite easy to be able to do, and as a bonus, I also had quite a few requests to go to two, four, and eight. Of course, if you have eight, you can go to 16, 32, and so on. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick, real easy. All right, we're going to start out with a circle. And then I will take, and I'm just going to draw this straight across using that center point as my reference. And that will give me the diameter of the circle. And of course, that divides it equally into two. Now, because it rotates around this center point, anywhere that you draw that line, it's going to divide it into two equal parts. Now, if you take a triangle and just simply put it down and draw a line that's 90 degrees to this, there's really no guarantee that you're going to be exactly 90 degrees. Even if you have a straight edge that's parallel to this, there's not going to be a 100% guarantee that that's 90 degrees. The best way to be able to do it is to bisect this line. To be able to do that, you set your compass where it's larger than the radius. And I'm gonna put this right there on the edge and that's not larger than the radius. So we need to open this up further. Now we're more than the radius. So we're gonna put that right there and we can strike an arc right up into this area and another arc down in this area. Then we're going to turn around and do the same thing on this side. We will strike arc, strike an arc. Now by connecting these points we're going to have a perfect 90 degree Now that will form a perfect 90 degree angle right there, and that divides the circle into four equal parts. The next thing that we want to do, now that we have four parts, let's divide it into eight. The easiest way to do that is to be able to take the cord, which is this measurement right here, and we'll do the same thing. We're going to bisect this cord by having this compass over the halfway point. And then I can, and I don't need to have it that large. So we can narrow this, shorten that down. And we're going to scribe an arc out here. We'll scribe an arc over in this area. And then we'll come over to this point and we'll have the arc here. We'll do the same thing at this point. And that's all we need. So now we have two points, our center point and where this arc intercepts. With this intersection right here, going through the center point of the circle. Same thing on this one. And put that pencil there, slide it over to it. 
and then we can connect it. So now we have the circle divided into eight equal parts. If you wanted to draw, just for an example, an octagon, all you need to do is be able to connect these points all the way around, and it would create the octagon. And that gives me my octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a circle. Then from there, I wanna take the pencil and I wanna mark at this center, that's gonna be my reference point. I'll take the ruler over and we'll draw a line. That will give me the diameter. Then I want to take my compass and I'm going to set it right here on this edge. We're going to go out to this center point right here and we're going to scribe a line here and we'll scribe an arc there and we'll connect the two points. Connect that one and we'll connect that point. Now, I also want to be able to bisect this diameter and put a vertical line right here. To do that, I'll put the compass right here at this point. I'll make this radius now larger. The compass will open up larger than the radius. I'll scribe an arc here and here. And we'll do the same thing on this side and actually, the only thing I need is this, because I have one point here, my second point there. That's all I need. I'll draw my line right here. Now, this will be the first point. But what I need to do is take this and measure, let's measure this over from this point right here up to this point. Right there. That is going to give me the point that I need. To go to right here. And then I can take and put it right here. So that will be an arc. That will be one. Then I'll come over to here. I'll scrap point there. And I'll come over to the last one and mark that. So now that gives me my five points. So I'm going to start right here at the center. And I'm going to draw that up to there. That's one. Starting at the center. That's two. Starting at the center. That's three. This one right here. Four. And the last one is right here. Oops, didn't draw. So we have point one, two, three, four, and five. If you want to make that into a pentagon, just connect these two lines. This is the cord here. And the last one. So that's how you divide the circle into five equal parts. All right, to do the circle in seven parts, let's take this off. We're going to draw us a circle right here in the center. 
Okay, with that done, now I wanna be able to take and mark this right here. So that's at the center. And I'm gonna put an arc right here. I'll put an arc right there. Now with the construction lines, I wanna be able to take that point right here and over to this arc that I made. And I also wanna go from this point down to this point right there. And this is the distance that I need. So I wanna measure from this point over to there. Now these are two exactly the same measurements. So at this point now, I'll start right here and give myself an arc all the way around. I can do this too. One here and one there. So that gives me my first two. Then this will be three. That's four. There's five, six, and then this will be back to seven. So to connect the lines, we'll use the red marker this time. And we'll go from here, there, up to there, there. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Thanks a lot for watching this very short video, but I hope you can see just how easy it is using a compass and a ruler to be able to divide the circle into in whatever different number of segments that you want. And there's still even easier methods to be able to divide circle into the different components. It's really all about what works best for you and your shop. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And by the way, give me a thumbs up, subscribe right down there below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. See you real soon.